it's the sum of 1.5 million and 250,000 extra. Quite fantastic. How much has people's need increased during this COVID period? I think for a lot of people, um, life was very, very normal before COVID. Um, and then it's taken a, a dramatic dip for a lot of people who would have led, you know, reasonably normal lives. Um, it's been going on for 18 months. Um, there's obviously people asking questions about where they end, if, if there's an end in sight, and it's going to get worse. Uh, there's a big, big cut to benefit coming. There's an increase in domestic fuel coming, which is going to impact in families as well. So uh, as much as this is doom and gloom, it's, it's certainly going to get worse for a lot of families before it gets better. Can you even imagine how things would be if Celtic weren't dipping in with this sort of money for these people? <laughs> I think it's made a difference to a lot of people within our communities and, um, you know, it's fairly representative of football. There's a lot of, there's 42 clubs in Scotland. I think 41 clubs have done or are doing something. So football's had a big, big response in this, as are, you know, other parts of society and other parts of the community. Um, but I think this is a real credit to the Celtic supporters not just locally, but internationally as well, and to a lot of people associated with the football club who have helped um, helped make a difference, really, to people's lives. Have you got an idea of the numbers you're helping, Tony? Um, we're talking about tens of thousands of people. We're about 13,000 individuals. We've got about 82 partners, uh, a lot in Glasgow, uh, some in London, some internationally, some in Edinburgh, some in Ireland... Um, just under 4,000 children, 25,000 families have been impacted over the past 18 months, um, and just under 16,000 pensioners as well. So, um, and a lot of people who live within the homeless community, uh, particularly in the, in the west of Scotland. So it's big, big numbers for us.